Welcome back to my channel, everyone. This is your host again, Red Fox. Come back with another episode of Let's Play Crusader Kings 2, the Poland edition. Guys, we are indeed expanding. Expansion is key to this game. I found. Uh, you can. Get the ones oh, I see what that is. Okay, I see exactly what the usurping of the title means. It means we can just go hold with this whenever we want. And we'll go ahead and we'll do the same here. Boom. Alright, now we only have 7 gold and, you know, don't even have enough piety. And we don't have enough prestige to even create a tribal army. But, what we did get, we usurped a bunch of titles. Meaning that we can actually go to war with these two, for these two provinces whenever we so choose. But, due to the fact that we actually have a little uh, truce with these guys after we basically kick their butt in the war, we can't really do anything. We have to wait till 802, which is quite a ways away, if you're unfamiliar with how long it usually takes for time to pass in this game. But that's okay. Um, this episode may not be near as exciting as what I would really like it to be. Um, it seems like, as far as actually going to war with people in this game, it's, you know, it's kind of give and take, really. Uh, 805, so we actually even longer for that. We actually have a, a legend, which I would really wish that we could have got something like that, like, earlier on. Um, looks like with this... But this little place right here, we can't really even go to war with them so much. Uh, let's see if we can't, like, get a better uh, guy up here for this. We're going to go ahead and get him to take over, to, or, like, to fabricate a claim. I, I say take over, but it's fabricate a claim. Got to get him to fabricate a claim against these guys right here. As you can tell, we're expanding more to the east. And I do that because to the west we have blobs for days. We have Lombardy, we have Umayyads, we have West France, and we have Saxony. And Saxony, you're sitting there thinking, oh, well, you're bigger than Saxony. Yeah, they're feudal, though, and, like, if you, if you haven't watched uh, one of the last episodes, I think it was two episodes ago, when I actually looked at that, and I was like, oh, we should go to war with them, since we can. And I see, like, 4.27k troops, and, like, and they're feudal. I'm like, oh, no, we can't go to war with that. So, like, I'm actually bordering them, which is something that's slightly, you know, it's slightly concerning. But as you know, they're focusing more on France. Uh, on France, they're not gonna. They're not gonna do anything that's crazy. They're not gonna. They might try to come this way after a few minutes, but I doubt it because of just because it's so it's so hard to deal with the that those blobs. Like we have a few other people. If we have Bohemia, we could go to war with them if we really wanted to. Um, we have. These guys right here, we could probably go to war with them if we really wanted to. It looks like actually France is attacking them, and if France attacks them, that's gonna be uh, that's actually gonna be quite difficult. Um, it seems like France, and like the last couple of playthroughs I've had, France is actually like they have actually broken down really quickly. Like they 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 got they had a lot of problems, they had a lot of issues that happened, and there wasn't a whole lot that they could do really. Like there was just. It was basically like they would get beaten by somebody, and then the Umayyads would take over a little, few of these provinces over here, and then that was basically it. That was basically the entire like scenario of what happened. We're going to build a war chest, by the way. My heir is unmarried. Oh, I have a son. Kind of looks like a little, like a little weirdo, but <laughs> I don't really care. There's not a whole lot that I can really do about it. Um, we're gonna check to see what we have here. We actually have a few different, like, we can actually, oh, it's the cons, that's what these, these are, are right here. Remova, Slavic, so, so we're over here to where the Slavs are here. Uh, this is what we're gonna be more, more or less looking for right here. We wanna marry somebody who's actually got, like, you know, a chance, really. Oh, my character is gay. Oh, that's horrible. Huh. And he's chast on top of it. Man. Jeez, this is going to be extremely difficult then. Um. Guys, I really don't know what to say about this. I don't know what all that I can do to make this any better than what it is. Um. I mean, yeah, I guess this is really all I can do. Ah. 
Yeah, that that's this is gonna be a really hard one right here. I, I didn't I didn't see that he had that. Oh, so that's that makes things extremely difficult now. Um Hmm. It's definitely interesting now because things are getting to the point now where you're just like, okay, so what do I do now? And like with my character being as old as he is, he probably needs to die. He he just needs to. Like it's there's no ifs, ands, and buts about that. Like he just needs to die because this guy being chast Oh, there's no telling. Um yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna act like there's nothing that we can do about it right now because there isn't. There's really nothing that you can do about this situation that we're in right now with that, and it's not really a situation we're in presently. It's a situation that we're gonna be in before long, and there's really nothing that I can do to fix this problem right now. So what I'm gonna have to do, um, darn, and we have like and we now have this little we have this claim on this guy over here which. Uh, it's not bad. It's just I'm trying to figure out what I need to do here to make things right and make things better. The Avery is actually probably pretty big. Yeah. And it, it, oh no, they're actually losing. So, huh. What we're gonna do is we are going to fabricate claim against this guy right here, and that should be okay. Um, let's see our counselor. Our counselor. Uh, we actually have one guy who doesn't like me, which I'm not exactly sure why, but. I guess Karma's actually come back to get, bite me in the butt for, like, killing off those two sons earlier. I should have just been patient and all that good stuff, but I, I wasn't. I made that mistake, and I'm paying for it, it seems, a little bit. We're going to go ahead and do centralization, though. We're going to pray. Oh, we have three people, like, automatically say no. We had one person that said yes. Um, I mean, the steward and the advisor, huh? I'm probably going to go to war with Severia whenever um, I get enough prestige or whatever. Um, my advisor. And then, what was it? My steward. Steward, yeah, my steward and my advisor. I mean... I'm probably not going to get it. I'm just going to like go about my business thing as if I'm not going to acquire that. So yeah, they rejected it. I assume that I'm actually gained the stress trait, which is quite strange. But I mean, we should be okay. We're going to claim this guy right here. They actually said no. Oh, I wonder why they said no. I wonder why, like, does my counsel just, like, are they just not happy? Go ahead and get this guy out the way. Like, he doesn't like me and I'm not... Not getting anywhere with him, it doesn't seem like. Let me see, can we go to war with him now? Two to five vote now. Uh, let me see, I'm just gonna kinda like micromanage this. Pie Master, Court Chaplain, Advisor. Pie Master, let's see if we can't get rid of him. Chaplain. Go ahead and just like buy a whole whole bunch of them. I'm just basically just clearing out all this notifications and stuff. This episode's not going to be near as exciting as probably some of the ones I've done, but... Two to the five, but we're just going to give it some time, I guess. Wait till we get some prestige, I guess. So we don't have to worry about that. I hope our claims are, like, actually, like, carry over. I don't know if they do or not. That's kind of one of them things that kind of bothers me. We actually have three, uh, we have three claims against Saxony now. Hmm. Again, something that I'm not used to having a bunch of claims on them, of all people. See, I don't, and that's the thing, I kind of want to go north, because we're actually getting closer and closer to the horse lower country, and that's definitely difficult to deal with. So, we're going to be, we're going to be really, 
be real cautious about the next couple of like uh we're gonna like the next couple episodes are gonna be kind of like something that we're gonna have to watch for because of this what's going on right now we're having and then we're gonna be transitioning into a new like character which is going to be it's going to be difficult, I'm not going to lie. Like, There's going to be a few things that are probably going to happen that are going to make things much, much harder than what I really wish they would be, but a lot of it's though right now is like trying to get this council thing situated. Let me see. Uh, our counselor. Now, let's see. Yeah, see, now they want to go to war, so that's fine. I'm totally cool with that. What we're going to do is we're going to call all of our uh, vassals to arms. Oh, he's actually not even... It's not even up and about. Uh, let's see how many people say no. Hopefully at least one of them says yes. That's what I'm hoping for. Oh, and they went to war with me, too. What are they doing? Like, what's the war that they're actually going on me for? Saxon Conquest of Wolgast? How many troops do they have right now? That's, that's, yeah, that's the question. Do they have a bunch of troops? Yeah, 4 point something K troops. And who are they going to war with right now? Only going to war with me. So what I'm going to do is I'm off. I'm going to offer peace. I don't have enough for a tribal army right now, and I don't feel like losing that. So Saxony did end up winning the war, but I, I surrendered immediately because I don't feel like having to deal with that. Like again, this is another one of them things I'm looking at now, and I'm just like, okay. Like inconvenient as all as all heck, really. Like, cause you don't deal with that kind of stuff very often, and now it just seems like, like again, like Saxony hardly ever really like you know stays together because of the fact that France blobs up. But it seems like France is blobbed up everywhere except for uh, except for taking over Saxony, which is like the most inconvenient thing in this particular uh in this particular type of game that I'm playing. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and keep the child. Um that's one of those things where like your daughter like has a child out of wedlock and stuff, and that that's fine, it's whatever, I don't really care. Uh, another child is not going to uh hurt anything. I mean it's like, oh it's shameful. I'm like like, dude, it's no big deal. Like, cause I need the child is not gonna hurt me any. Like, it's not gonna make things any more. It's not gonna make anything any less difficult, really. Um, the war is going on right now, so I'm trying to think. Like, what is the best way of dealing with this right now? Like, cause I mean, I'm doing well. Like, I mean, I am still doing well, even though Saxony took over that province and everything. It's just I really want this character to die, kind of. Kind of want to, like, I, I'm ready to, like, section off into the next character. Like, it's just that, it's at that point, and his prestige is so far down in the dirt, really. It's just, it's not like, yeah, they're not going to make it easy on me. There we go. For some reason, I couldn't do it, and, like, it's, like, went out of, it, like, it tabbed out of the game, which is strange. I'm gonna go ahead and send these guys down here, and we are doing this all without actually like having a um a tribal army, which I'm I'm really happy about. Like I'm glad that, that that's the case. I don't really care. I'm not dealing with uh losing that kind of money right now. Now we've taken over that, now I'm going to send these guys down here and win this battle right here. Yep. Swiftly and easily. I wouldn't say it's easy. I wouldn't say that one was easily because of, I had that other small stack of troops that was in there and it was just like... 
It was kind of close. Uh, Saxony, I don't think that they can declare war on me because of the truce that we have, but I think I can declare, I think I can declare war upon them if I want to, but obviously that's not going to happen. Like, I'm not declaring war against them. Not right now. That that make things extremely difficult. Um, my son is indeed married to this chick here. I really wish that he had a kid. Been two years and no kids. That's when you need concubines, lustful concubines that like will increase your chances quite a bit. Nonsense. We'll go ahead and we'll uh, see what like going on with this. It seems like we're doing okay with all that. We actually did have a revolt, and it seems like I lost the like the stress trait, which is different I usually don't lose that but it's really hard to like once you get those things it's very unlikely that something like that changes on you like but I'm not too worried about it uh 28 20 troops like they have quite a bit but I don't think that they're gonna uh, don't think that they're gonna matter a whole lot really That may be a mistake now I'm sitting here thinking about it, but that we're going to try to assault the holding, but I think it's probably just wise to get that done and over with. We actually do have a faction rising up, which is kind of bad. I'm, I'm kind of getting a little bit quieter now because I'm trying to sit here and like think what's the best thing that I can do to like win this. Because we do have a peasant revolt right now, and I don't really want to focus any more on this other war because this is over with. We've taken over all the provinces. It's about to be done, like now. Gonna worry about that. Hundred percent should be just about here with them. Okay, we did. Hundred percent's done with them. Great. Absolutely wonderful. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and give this province up. Even though we do have enough, it was like to the point where it was like, oh, if you lose, like you, when you die, like you lose that province. And I ain't losing that. I ain't losing that province for that. Yeah, they can, they can say whatever they want. I'm not losing that province for that. What claims do we have now? We have a claim on Saxony, which I'm not going to go to war with, obviously. Hey, a son was born to my daughter. Oh, how awesome. Which daughter was it that had, like, the son here? No, that's what I'm trying to, like, find. Oh, here it is. Oh, it looks like that tribal army just absolutely destroyed them for me. We're just going to go ahead and we're going to see if there's anything that we can do, really. Yeah, it looks like we're done with that. Like, we don't really have the troops now. So a lot of it's going to come down to now just kind of like being like chill and relaxed for a few minutes. We do have two factions growing up between two different guys. Um, not that big a deal. I'm not going to be blackmailed, obviously. They're not going to worry about that at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to call to arms these guys right here. And I think right, I think this is where we're going to end the episode. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please drop a like in the section below. If you want to see more in the future, please subscribe to my channel. I mean, it's a great deal to me and it helps out a lot. <laughs> And again, guys, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see all of you guys next time. Bye-bye.